Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy 2KJ Gaming back here today with another video. So real quick before the video starts, if y'all could just drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to hit that bell notification down below. We're on the road to 100 subscribers. And three, follow me on Twitter at 2KJ Gaming one I want to interact with some of you guys. So, you know, uh, follow me on Twitter. Maybe you could ask me a question and I'll reply. But uh, without further ado, let's get into today's video. All right, so first thing what this video is going to be talking about is basically things how to fix park basically because there's some things that that i don't like about park and right here what you guys are just watching this is just random gameplay just random for the for the video but these ideas that i'm gonna say these could all be fixed you they don't have to wait till 2k19 they could fix this this year so um number one is and i'm pretty sure all you guys know what this is i'll give you a second real quick to think about it well you don't need this whenever i say whenever i say park problems this should be like the first one to pop in your head and it's squad invites now it's crazy how you can't even get it like you had to send two to three in, uh, squad invites just so you could be accepted because everyone knows because it's very rare i mean it's happened like like i said it's very rare when it happens but sometimes it does happen on the first try but it's very rare and you know sometimes i've even seen it um it's happened to my friends and it's happened to me where it takes at least three squad invites i've never had anything over uh three it's very rare though uh see, well not very rare but it's rare when you have to send three instead of two but either way you shouldn't be sending two or three it should only be one and you know and, and then you have to wait too because after the squad invite after the first one you have to wait i'm gonna say about 20 seconds something like that you have to wait 20 seconds to send another squad invite and you better hope that you don't got to send a third one because then that's another 20 seconds which would be 40 seconds just for someone to join your squad so hopefully they could fix that i'm pretty i don't think it shouldn't be that hard three weeks in to the game and they still got to be we still got to send two to three squad invites so that's crazy so they got to fix that number two is long waits now when you're heading up to your apartment, this is so annoying because I'm not, what's the dude's name? Sp Spaghetti, Spinelli, whatever. I think it's Spinelli, whatever his name is, man. I don't want to hear his life story every time I got to go into my apartment. It's so dumb. Like, I'm not trying to hear, you know, like, I'm just trying to get straight to my apartment, and, you know, change my clothes or, you know, practice my shot, whatever. I'm just trying to do that. I'm not trying to have, like, these little conversations. And then when you're on the elevator, I don't know why it says go to my court or exit to the road like why would i exit if i just came in the elevator i don't think anybody's gonna you know accidentally walk to the side of the apartment and press x i don't think that's like that's highly unlikely um and then after that it, and even the elevator <laughs> elevator ride it feels like minutes upon minutes when you try to just get up to your my court it legit takes i don't even know how long i'm gonna say like two two minutes probably two three minutes just to get up and because sometimes it even freezes like on 30 percent when you're going up the elevator it freezes like 30 percent so that's real annoying i hate that and then and, you know just to change like like your shoes your your jersey whatever you know you, you have to wait that long and then of course when you go out again it's like another two to three minutes and then of course spinelli has to say something when you walk out so all this is taking time it's going to take you like I don't even know two to three minutes to like six and then another i don't know like 20 seconds it's like it's gonna take you like six minutes to go up come uh go up oh and that's not even including how much you know what what uh you're doing up in there so it could take like from six to like 10 minutes to go get your stuff equip it and then come back down so that's crazy so hopefully they could fix that you know they just have like a straight you know just straight go to your uh closet or something or you know something that doesn't have to make us wait that long because that's so annoying trying to wait for that number three is kicking out people now i don't know how they haven't fixed this this should have been like well besides the squad invite this should have been priority number one sometimes when you're like uh when you go up to your my uh, apartment or when you travel through the subway it kicks people out now it happened a lot when the game was first out it's like it doesn't happen that much but i mean it still happens and i'm not sure if actually this one i'm not sure if they could actually fix this i don't know if this is like a server thing or i'm not sure but hopefully they could fix this because i'm tired you know like when, when you're walking to the playground if you like start out by the statue and you're walking towards the playground um some of your players if you're not like bunched up together you guys get kicked you know which that shouldn't happen once you spawn in the park you shouldn't have to be worried about oh don't 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 go too far you might you know you might get kicked 
So it's real annoying. Number four is I'm pretty sure all of you guys know this one. Cutscenes, cutscenes, man, we gotta be able to skip it because like no offense to the real the actor who played uh B Fresh. I'm pretty sure she's like a chill person or whatever, but oh my god, every time I hear her or I just look at her in my in uh, my career and all the cutscenes, I oh my god. I don't even think I could say this on YouTube, but I just get like I, I really don't want to see her. She's so annoying. I hate every cutscene I have to do with her. It just mm, we just gotta be able to skip that because she is the most annoying character that I could ever think of. Not just in a 2K game that I can think of. I don't really think any other video game character was this annoying as her. It's just, I just hate all these cutscenes with her, man. And then plus, you know, some of the cutscenes, like if you're going to try to create a new My Player, it's going to take you forever because you're going to have to look at all these cutscenes. So, you know, I know like uh, people like Agent, uh, Agent Zero, if you don't know who he is, he's cool. He's a cool YouTuber. He does a lot of My Park. And I know for sure he's going to make more than one player. So imagine how long it's going to take him to do each player and then all the cutscenes. Especially like the, the prelude part where like you have to play the two, three games and then you have to talk to your agent and all that. So that that's going to take a while. So that we need to be able to skip cutscenes. And number, I think it's five, number five, is VC earnings now. For VC earnings, I'm not sure completely what the ruffles thing was, but... They said something about basically four. Uh, you get four times the VC. I highly doubt it's just you know you buy a bag of chips and it's four four times the VC. I highly doubt that. I'm not sure though, so I'm not gonna speak about that. But what they should do is at least once a month how they had double XP. They should actually bring that back. But you know obviously there's no you know rep system. It's just like the thing for your badges to, so you could go to the next level. You know what I mean? They should have that. You know they should do that double. I think that'd be nice. I don't know. I'd highly doubt they'd do that, but it would be nice to see them actually try to do that so we could, you know, rep up fast, faster and, you know, try to... Because I know a lot of people might say that's bad because they're like, oh, no, well, I, don't wanna, I don't want everyone to be a 99. You know, I don't want them to do that, but, I mean, come on. it's It really depends. If you're playing this game, if you're putting in hours, I mean, you should be a 99, right? If you're putting in the hours. And they should also do, like, like I said, you know, once a month, they should be doing this. I don't know if I said once a week before, but once a month, they should be doing this like once a month, the double XP thing. And then they should also be doing double VC because you earn about 200, 250 if like you win the game, you earn that much from the uh, game. So what you should be able, you know, you should be able to get 500 VC each game you play if you win. And if you lose, I don't know, maybe like 400, basically double, double VC week. So, you know, you double your rep and you double your VC. This would be nice if you could do it once a month because the VC you get, it's so low, 250. That's what, I don't even think you could buy a tattoo with that. I think the only thing you could buy is probably a, um, a uh, what's it called, haircut. But uh, that's the five things I think they should be able to fix in my part. So if you like this video and you agree with some of the things I said, make sure to drop a like. Also comment down below if I missed something. I'm pretty sure I missed something that was wrong with 2K. Um, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter at 2KJGaming1. Uh, we're almost at 100 subscribers, man, so I'm real happy about that. But anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.